Instead, he works his way back free. Randlin fires, scores! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother Howie here for episode number 36. Howie. And we are through with the first round now. And we have a game of the second round under our belt already. Yeah, and I don't recall the last time if they ever have Overlap. where they started a second round game before the first round has been completed. Isn't that odd? They kind of overlapped like that? Yeah. I, I've I, never I, seen it happen ever that I can recall. It's like they're trying to do like the NBA thing or something. It's like they they feel like they're under a time crunch. We've got to get these games in now. And I I can't I don't like that. I don't either. I'd rather just have them. You know, if you got to wait, you got to wait. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. I mean, at least it gives the teams you know that rest period if you're banged up. Right. So how you been this week, Hal? You're all moved into your new place. Is the first time we're seeing your new digs? Uh, well, I'm not completely moved in because I'm still waiting for it. Well, I get my couch delivered on Monday. I should get my entertainment center in, uh, tomorrow. And then my table, my dining room table should be here sometime next week, too. Hmm. But you got then the important things. Be... You have your desk and your... Your in my in my bed. That's what I. <laughs> <In your> bed. <laughs> I have my desk and my bed. Yeah, yeah. And as as Lucky now look, feeling a little better now that there's furniture in the house. No, he's no, he's no. I he's not eating normal or anything yet. So he's still kind of in the air. Yeah, he's just not used to this yet. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm trying to. Work on Maybe this. you're home too much since you've been off of work, and he's just like, well, "This I isn't just, right." Well, I, well, I, I just started <laughs> one of my new jobs last night. Nice. And how did that go? Uh, went well. Good. Interesting. Went well. Yeah. It's uh, a lot better than what I was doing before. So that's, I have no compliance. That's good. No you're not complaints. sitting uh, right at undisclosed locations and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last night was funny because we we had several people thought I was actually the trainer and not the trainee. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like no, I'm the one being trained. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right, let's move into our hockey. Oh, by the way, I'm happy that you are finally where you need to be. As am I. And, As am I. Yeah, so it's good. Uh, moving into hockey news now. 
There was just one little tidbit that I had, and we just I we just got this on our phones just a little while ago. Yeah, I I, I caught a glimpse of it. I didn't read into it though. Right, and that was uh, <clears throat> they announced that the 2016 NHL draft lottery is going to be held on April 30th in Toronto. Um, the th- and they're going to pick the top three slots this time. Um, so they're doing it a little bit different than they have in the past. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how that all works. Oh, and did you see by chance, um, apparently it was leaked, the new Florida Panther logo? No. Yes. Are you going to reveal it right here? Well, I already tweeted it out. Oh, I, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I, I just got up not that long ago from a little... T- I, I, I tweeted that out uh, yesterday. Oh, I haven't seen it. But uh, let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. Yeah, here it is. Let me but see. Let me I, see. I like it. It, it kind of... It, it does have... Someone mentioned said it, it did kind of have like a soccer feel to it. Yeah. And it, it does... It, it kind of does have that that feeling to it, but I I like it though. I, I it's it's sharp looking. I think. But All right, let me see. That would be it. Hmm. Back it up just a little bit because it's out of focus. There we go. Oh, interesting. It does have that kind of soccer feel. I think because of the shield, you know. Yeah. But I, I I like it. I like it. I like it's it. Different. Yeah, we'll have to see what it looks like on the jersey. And that's for real? That is yes. the leaked? It, it has, yeah, it has been confirmed that that is the logo. Mm. I don't know, Howie. I, I still kind of like the one that they have now. Yeah, but I, I, think I they, like that. It, I mean, it needs. Uh, I think they need a tweak and, and mm-hmm. a bit of an update or something. So, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, real quick just kind of go over. Te- <laughs> I have listeners texting in yeah. already. <laughs> Real quick, let's go over the first round and and how wrong we were. <laughs> uh, let, let My me. bracket is just blown up. I mean, it's <laughs> not at all. Well, I I'm okay on the west, but my east side is completely blown up. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. I, I yeah, I still have Washington in there, and I still have Dallas in there, and I still have. I, I think Washington is all I have on the East. Yeah. Really? That's well, Yeah, I just... Mm. The only one I lost in the West was uh, L.A. Really? Well, you're doing a lot better than me. I, I and uh, I, I have two teams that... One from the East and one from the West that kind of surprised me and kind of have that feeling of they've got the momentum right now. And that is the New York Islanders and the Nashville Predators. Both of those teams, to me, they just feel like, man, they are just playing the best hockey they've ever played. <laughs> I, I would throw St. Louis in there, too. True. True. I, I could throw St. Louis in there. But, yeah, I mean, bad news, yeah. Minnesota's out. L.A.'s all out. Yep. Yep. But and the Ducks the are out. News, the Ducks are out. The good news, the Ducks are out. Yeah, the Ducks that are out. Was, we could start the playoffs today. <laughs> yeah. So that that made up for my Minnesota yeah. loss yeah. of having Anaheim knocked out. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a great first round, though. I mean, some of these games have just... The, the St. Louis-Chicago series, amazing. 
The yeah, that was a very good series. The Nashville I, Predators Ducks I game. I didn't, I didn't really get to see much of that first round. Oh. I mean, little to none. Because of moving and and me being blacked out from everything, but right? I've gone back and and watched some of the series, but no, it, it's yeah, uh, just amazing, amazing first round. Well, I, uh, it was disappointing that my Kings were out, but we saw some great hockey played. Yeah. So that brings us to the second round, Howie. And um, the final eight, or the eight elite, or however you want to call it. Uh, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Um, <clears throat> so let's start in the east, and we will reveal our picks now for the second round. We have already had one game played already because of this weird overlap thing. Right. I, I again but I don't like that they're doing that. I don't either. Uh so Washington Pittsburgh. Um I was l- looking at these two teams on paper. Pittsburgh has what, a lot of momentum. What was their season series? Um let's see. I don't know if this thing will show me that. It may somewhere on this page, but I don't see it right off, and you may be uh, able see, to find I know that. It, it should be. Uh, you'd have to go to the very bottom of the page if you go to that. No. Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking yep. at the uh, comparison thing that we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the very bottom and just look at the uh, their record. Oh, I see that. Okay. Yes, you're right. So, let's see. 2016. Um um, you got to pull in uh, October and November of 15, too, if they played in December. October, yeah. November, December. Right. So Pittsburgh in October, Pittsburgh won. Then Washington won. That's one and one. Washington, Pittsburgh, two. Looks like Pittsburgh win, won the series hmm. uh, by a game. Um, but you look at these two teams on paper and they really don't other than Washington's defense which is really good they're fairly even on paper right and Pittsburgh right now is carrying the momentum over from that first round. That they really look good uh, towards the end of that series, um, which I think will really help them. Uh, but I did pick this game for their fall, and I think they're going to fall in six games in this series. And you take Washington in six? Yeah. I, I would agree with that. I'd go the same. I'd go Washington and six. Okay. <clears throat> and then the what the uh, series already started. Isles and Tampa Bay with the Isles up one nothing right now. I was looking at these these two on paper too, and actually, Islanders almost look like they they dominate Tampa Bay on paper. They they like match the up really center. well, yeah, and I agree. They, you would think that, and 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 the Islanders are carrying over some big momentum from that first round, right? Um, they're one of those teams to me that I feel like, wow, you know, they're really really starting to pour it on. So, who do you have in I, this series? I, in this one, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the Islanders in seven. Okay, I too have chosen the Islanders in seven. Um, mainly because of their momentum right now, they really look yeah. like they've put things together. Tampa Bay's playing really well, but Islanders seem to have I don't know they've just they feel like they've got it right now. 
and that might be just enough to to win it. But I've got them going to seven. In the West, um, this series is probably going to be one of the best ones out there. Uh, Dallas-St. Louis series. Yeah. Um, this should be yeah. This should be a very good series. Yeah, and they both they match up really well on paper. Um, but to see the St. Louis offense versus the Dallas defense, that's that's going to be really fun to watch. And the on the other side too, I think St. Louis versus Dallas they they match right. up evenly pretty well there. Um, I have Dallas and six here. Yeah, I think I think this this series is going to come down to whose whose goaltending is is going to stand out. Yeah. Is what I think this one's going to be all about. But this one, I'm I have to stick with my my St. Louis Blues train. I'm going to take St. Louis in seven. Okay. And I have Dallas in six. Okay. All right, hi. Nashville and San Jose. I I mean, they're pretty evenly matched. If on on paper. Yeah. Very very evenly matched. Yeah. But I'm gonna go I, I think with with Nashville, I think just has stronger goaltending. Yeah, but I, I think Rene is hot right now. Yeah, I, I, I think the Predators are I hot. Go, I, I'm going to take Nashville in six. That's a good good number. I also chose Nashville in six in this one. Um, I think momentum is going to carry them. And um, I think their goaltending's uh, a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So, so there you go. Uh, so those are our picks to move on to the next round. I have all uh, the wa- have Washington Islanders and Dallas and Nashville, and you have uh, Washington Islanders. St. Louis and Nashville. Nashville. So we'll see how that all works out. (laughs) But some good series. I I think all these series are going to be really good. Um, And we both have them either going to six or seven games. I I think it's going to be that good. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, I, I think it'll be interesting to see how well that Nashville... Um, Nashville and New York Islanders and St. Louis carry that momentum in and see how long it holds out for them. Well, I think with with Nashville, I think, I mean, just because they're a wild card, I mean, don't... They're not a wild card team. They don't look like it right now. Well, no, I mean, you look at look at the division they're coming from. Well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they're coming from one of probably the toughest division there is in the league right now. Yeah. But I mean, I, I mean, even even Minnesota, I don't really consider them wild card teams. I mean, granted, they were beat up all the hell going yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Just, I mean, they were missing a, a few a few good pieces, but. They still stuck with Dallas pretty well. Right. Have they, have they but, done any, have they any, and I'm talking about Minnesota here, have they started any of their signings or any of that yet? I mean, I'm hearing uh, a lot no, of buzz. No, in, uh, I, no. right now, um, Parisi may have back surgery. He's trying to avoid it, but we'll right. see what happens with that. But no, but speaking of signings and whatnot, I did see something, uh, he, he's 
up there in age, but I think it'll be a strong acquisition for someone out there. But it sounds like uh, Jimmy Howard may be departing from Detroit. Wow. Wow. He's... So rumor, rumors has it that he could end up in Calgary. Hmm. And then it sounds like two oh I saw uh Rain Rangers might be a very different looking team next season also. Yeah. Well, um yeah, I had heard a lot of um goings on and around the LA thing about Le Cavier. Um I guess a lot of people wanting him to stay, but I guess he's already made his decision he was gonna retire. Uh before he even signed. <clears throat> and with Lucic is trying to uh, hammer out a deal because he's wanting to stay. So Right. Hey, for, I know, yeah, because I remember for a long time he wanted to get out of there and go to Vancouver. Yeah. But it sounds like he's wanting to stay now, so hopefully they can work out a deal with him because I, I, I like him and he fits well on that team. But... Uh, I, I think that the Kings are going to make some big moves and changes, though, this year. I, I think, you know, this team has been around for a while now. And, right. Um, of course, Kopey's not going to go anywhere. It's possible, uh, you know, I mean, how, we've had Quick for, what, eight years, nine years? Uh, it's... it's He's been around for a while. He's been a long time. We've had him for a long time. Uh, he's been around like <clears throat> Howard's been with Detroit. So, yeah. So, uh, and it'll be interesting to see what they do with their defense. And uh, I don't know. I, I just have a feeling there's going to be a big shakeup to change things up. But I don't know. Maybe that's what they need. So, uh, I think how I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, another short show. Uh, it seems like the the uh, closer we get to the end of the season, the shorter our shows get. But yeah, because I I got uh, well, I still got a few months, but I'll start watching for my world team tennis news here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, world team tennis. Yeah, I've been working out. You know, secretly working out. You didn't know this. <laughs> Except for the pictures I've been sending you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying out for World Team Tennis now. I'm I'm at the age I qualify, right? Hey, you just got to hope <laughs> someone gets injured so you yeah. get in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in fact, I play again tomorrow morning if the weather holds out. It's been raining here all week. Has it? Uh, it's only been raining here. It started last night. It came down pretty hard, and we had pretty big storms roll through. Um, it's supposed to be just cloudy tomorrow, I hope, because I want to get some tennis in. Got to work out, get ready for the season. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not going to be the same without my lobster, so. Well, you're going to have to... I still got to find a team. Well... You're going to have to go for, like, California Dream and whoever they are now. I don't want nothing to do with California. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, is Austin still around? No. That's oh. that's why uh, Raddick. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess I have to find a team, too, now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Wow. All right, I'll have to... I have to see if I can. Oh, well, I might be on a team this year. Well, yeah, that's true. So. <laughs> I might have to buy a team and stick them out here. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I think I got some money in my change jar. That yeah. <laughs> scrape up a team to. Yeah. You know, just maybe maybe I get one cheap and not you know play somewhere where I don't have to pay for like lights or anything. At night. <laughs> Day games. Yeah. Yeah. Be kind of like the the Wrigley Field of yeah. world. Oh, we gotta go play at Howie's place, man. They never play at night. <laughs> they don't have lights. <laughs> People out there with <laughs> flashlights. 
<laughs> it's starting to get dark. Everybody brings out their flashlight or their shine their car lights on the court, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so we will wrap it up here. Um, thank you all for listening and watching our podcast. Uh, catch our uh, website at www.thepuckdropshere.com. Uh, go out to our podcast page and see our past episodes or listen to our past episodes. You'll find them there and our current ones. Um, also, we are on Hockey Talk Radio Us or US. Um, uh, 24 hours a day, Hockey Talk Radio. You can catch the Puck Drops Here podcast. Uh, we're usually on late at night. Uh, so give us a like on Facebook. Send us an email at John and Howie at thepuckdropshere.com. Uh, send us a tweet. We're on Instagram. We're just about everywhere, Howie. And we will catch you all next week. Enjoy the rest of the first round, or I'm sorry, the second round has now begun. So enjoy the second round, and we'll catch you all next week. So with that, Howie, we will bid you all adieu. Okay. Uh-huh.